Welcome back everyone to this prop and tool tutorial here at OMBODY. I'm Erica and we've looked at how to use a block uh, in a few ways to use a block in class as well as a few ways to use our blanket. Um, I'd like to take um, a moment to give us an, some ideas of how we can use a bolster, this firm poofy um, cushion, all right, that's got some support to it. Um, we have several of these in class uh, or in the studio and I would encourage you to take advantage of these. Um, mostly um, used in uh, for meditation as well as for restorative postures. Uh, the main purpose, um, one of the main purposes of a bolster is really for support. And so you can see here I'm using um, this bolster and I'll take a side view um, to prop myself up so that when I'm seated um, either for meditation or for the beginning or ending of class. Again, as we can do with the blanket um, to prop us up so that the low back, we have a natural low back curve, the knees are below the hips, so that we can easily sit up rather than feeling like we have to hold ourselves up. So the bolster is a little bit higher prop than the blanket um, if you're feeling really tight in the hip flexors or in the low back. All right, so a lovely way I could sit here all day long and feel like I'm not working very hard at all. All right, so really take the time, especially for meditation, when we're wanting to move beyond the body and get into the mental space, really take the time to make your body comfortable um, using props so that you can really take advantage of the meditation. All right, um, another way, as I mentioned, that we use uh, bolsters is for support in restorative postures. So whether that be um, a forward fold, for example, where we take our bolster in front of us, um, and again, priority is a elongated and supported spine. So rather than rounding forward, all right, just to think that I should get to my toes, all right, there's no enlightenment at your toes. So there's no reason to reach for the feet, all right? more important to have a long low back. So I can take this bolster and I can start to lean forward, all right, and use the bolster as a prop underneath my arms or underneath my hands even, so that I can have that long low back and still get the benefit of the forward fold, okay? Same, same if we do um, back bending postures or reclined postures, we can use this bolster behind us here and I might take a block underneath here to prop myself up a little more. All right, this is a lovely posture. If you have a couch cushion, firm couch cushion at home, you could do this as well. All right, and lay back over your bolster. And this is a lovely supported, restorative heart opener back bend. All right, and again, when we're in restorative postures, we want to feel fully supported and like we're not working at all, all right? So using your props mindfully, intentionally, so that you can just let all the muscle, muscular tension release and really melt into the props, into the floor, and let the posture do its work and take a benefit from it, okay? So, that is my ding on my phone to remind myself to take a deep breath. So I hope that you'll do that with me, deep breath in and deep breath out. I set that timer on so that I don't run away with myself during the day, but I take time to breathe. So, a couple ways to use the bolster. One, um, as with the blanket, to use it to prop ourselves up so that we have a, a nice supported long low back. Two, uh, for restorative practices or restorative like postures, for support under the body or around the body so that the body can relax into that support, all right? So grab a bolster, be bold in class, grab that bolster, it's really beneficial, and I will see you in the next tutorial where we'll talk about yoga straps and belts.